In this video, I'd like to tell you how to get to the Bronx Zoo by taking the number two train uptown to the Bronx to Pelham Parkway. You could take the two or five there. So you take the number two train and you get out. Now, when I got out of the train, the number two is the number two train is listed on Google Maps right up here uh, between uh, Bronx and Pelham Parkway and Pelham Parkway South. The thing is, I believe I got off the train somewhere over here near Pelham Parkway South. And me and my wife walked on this side of the street on Pelham Parkway South. I believe this quesadilla Mexican thing is a stand on the side of the street that the maps list. You see uh, the picture? The people at the stand, they look something like that when we were there. So that's pretty accurate. So this is where, literally by where these people are, you see to the right of them the steps that come down from the train station. Right over here, I think that's from the train. So you go to the corner here, and you walk down. You'll cross the street, and then there's this big road over here. You'll cross that. Follow the traffic signal. I think there's a button you can push. Just be patient. Now, when you cross the street, you go to your left and you follow the park there. It curves around a bit. Do not go on the walking path that breaks into the park. You see, when you come over, when you walk around over here, you're going to follow down on Boston Road. You're not going to go in this path here. We were tempted to do that. When you look down Boston Road, you're going to see the arch over the road where you go under Bronx River Parkway. You will literally walk under the arch and you will come out on the entrance to the zoo by the riverside there. So I hope that's pretty clear on what to do. I'm not sure what else to tell you. You get off the train back here by the Quesadillas Mexican stand on uh, this side of Pelham Parkway South. You'll walk across this street. It's really not that far. Then you follow the edge of the park here around. And then you follow you, the road down this way. Do not go on the path in the park. Follow the street. And you'll go under the highway. There's an arch. You go through that little tunnel. And you'll come out on the entrance to the zoo. Now let me see using another layer if I could show you more about and you get to the Bronx Zoo here. All right, so you walk down Boston Road. You go under the arch to the Bronx Zoo. At this point, you actually feel like you're in the zoo. You'll go through the gate and on the walk paths. If you follow the path around, the world of birds is one of the first things you'll see from the river gate. That's the gate that you'll go in. I We enjoyed the world of birds, and so we recommend it. There are bisons there. You can go look at the bisons and other stuff. Um, as you walk around, the Tiger Mountains was okay, but you didn't really, we didn't really get to see much of the tigers and lions. Continue walking around. We recommend the world of reptiles. 
Uh, you may see some flamingos walking around. We saw them. Keep your eyes open for those. Um, the Komodo dragons, I think that's the reptile exhibit, and we do recommend the reptile exhibit. Um, we also recommend, uh, believe it or not, the mouse visit was not that bad. Uh, so go see the mice. But we thought, oh, the world of reptiles, go see that. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you could try the lions, but we didn't see that many lions. Um, mouse house, we recommend that. All right, if you have any questions, ask in the bottom of the video. Um, we don't have any, we're not taking any responsibility for anything. I'm just going to give a disclaimer. But this is what me and my wife did. We got off at Pelham Parkway. It was near the Quesadillas Mexican spot where we got off, probably towards the back of the train. Walk down Pelham Parkway South, followed um, Boston Road, and then made a right staying actually on Boston Road, went under the underpass through the entrance of the zoo. I hope that helps you. Um, the walk was maybe a 10-minute walk. I would say it's about a 10-minute walk, and yes... If you do, you go to see the exhibits, there is a good amount of walking at the zoo. Um, it took us a couple of hours and we were tired by the time we're done. But uh, grown up adults, a little older, not a little out of shape and we were able to do it. Thank you. I'm sorry, when I said peacocks, I mean flamingos, I meant pe peacocks. Sorry about that. It's peacocks.